Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a really simple variation of these adorable jungle themed baby shower cookies that I made for Miss Bianca Renee. They are so easy to put together. We're going to make these adorable animal face cookies. We're also going to do a rattle. We're going to do a little monogram cookie with the words get wild and then we're going to finish it up with this adorable two piece outfit. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna begin with the animal face cookies first and here I have a small round cookie and I am just outlining it and filling it in with some 15 second consistency royal icing. I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour in front of a fan and then I am going to take my favorite luster dust and I'm mixing this with a little bit of Everclear and with a paintbrush, I'm just going to add some splatters on top of our cookie right here. Then using my jungle mold, I am going to create a little giraffe face. I'm gonna use a little bit of royal icing as glue just to secure that on. And I've already painted this in that gold luster dust as well so that it matches the cookie. And we are all done. That cookie was like so simple, but it looks very elegant. It is so gorgeous. Now we're gonna move on to the next cookie. We're gonna start our rattle. And again, I am just going to use my medium consistency royal icing. I'm gonna outline and fill the circular part of my rattle first. And there's no need to let this dry. I'm just going to take that same icing and I am going to work on the handle. I'm leaving a little space between the handle and the top of the rattle because I am going to make a bow with some more fondant. I'm using a mold for this as well. And I didn't want any of that royal icing to kind of squish off of the top. And we're just gonna let that dry. So I let this dry completely. You want a nice solid surface for the next part. I am taking a monogrammed alphabet stencil and I'm just taking some really thick royal icing. And I am going to use my little scraper tool and just scrape away all of this extra. To reveal a really nice letter A. I'm using my jungle mold again and I created a little leaf right here. I'm going to stick it right at the top. And then again with my gold luster dust I am just going to paint this letter A so that it kind of matches the theme of the rest of our cookies. For our next cookie, I have already outlined and filled this one in and let it dry overnight. I'm gonna take my jungle theme stencil and I'm just going to secure it in place with a few magnets. I'm also gonna take a napkin and I'm going to apply it to the top because I do not want any airbrush up here. This is where I'm gonna put my letters so I want everything to be nice and clean. And then using my Cookie Countess airbrush, I am just gonna add a little bit of white in here and just airbrush a small layer over the top of my cookie. And then I am going to go ahead and grab my Pico projector and some nice writing consistency royal icing. I'm going to write the words, get wild, onto the top of this cookie. And by the time you're done writing that, it'll be nice and dry. So you can go ahead and pull out your luster dust and Everclear mixture and just go ahead and paint over those so that they match with the theme of the cookies as well. Everything is going to be super gold. We want everything golded over. And then the last thing that I'm going to do to this cookie is add a border. So again, I'm using some writing consistency royal icing and I'm just outlining this cookie. And then I gave this a few minutes to dry because it is a bit thicker. I'm gonna take my luster mixture and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the border of this cookie. And 
and we are all done with this one so we're moving on to our last cookie I am going to start off again with a medium consistency royal icing and I'm going to outline and flood this area first. I'm doing the pants and the shirt. I'm gonna set this cookie in front of the fan for about two hours to let it dry over. And then I'm gonna come back with my 47 tip and I'm going to add the cuffs for the shirt. And with a number one tip, I'm going to add the lining and button details. I'm gonna do the same for the pants as well as the suspenders. And just really start adding in a lot of detail on these pants. Once that's had a while to dry, then I'm gonna come back in with my bow mold and I'm just going to make a little tiny bow. I've already painted this one with luster dust, of course. And we are completely finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you try this out for yourselves and I'll catch you in the next one.